Fins are so high. The waves are so high. Waves up to 20 feet high, if not higher. And they're trying to get them to safety. Again, this is two barges that collided in the Bahoy Sea. And this is one of the strongest storms ever recorded on Earth. Can you imagine being these people who were being rescued from the sea here? Again, only three people confirmed dead so far as we start to get these new images in. And sadly, investigators, authorities are quite sure they're telling us that the death toll will probably rise. In the meantime, I want to get to CNN. Tell us what you're seeing, what you're hearing from where you are and from other places. Well, Don, Manila itself, the capital, has uh, actually not been badly hit by this typhoon at all, but further south has been. And what we're hearing from officials at this point is, quite frankly, they don't know how bad it has been. They have no communications with many areas in the central part of the Philippines. Communications are out. Uh, electricity is out in many of these areas, so they have blackouts as well. And the local time is midnight. So at this point, it is very difficult for them to have a real grasp of just how big this disaster is. I mean, it has been called a potential calamity by officials, by people in power. There were real concerns that this was going to hit the country very hard because many of these, uh, these areas in central Philippines are not very built-up areas. There are some very significant cities, but many areas are small villages. There are uh, many uh, poor areas, and they are not substantial homes that the people are living in. Now, we know more than 700,000 people were evacuated. They were taken away from the low-lying areas because they knew there were going to be some storm surges, uh, and, uh, and that was going to affect those along the coast. But at this point, we just don't know if they have evacuated enough people, if that evacuation was significant enough. Many of the roads as well are down because uh, the, the sheer force of the winds actually brought down a number of trees. And so at first light, rescue crews are going to have to clear the roads before they get to some of these areas. And of course, the military's on standby, standby for, uh, for, for first light to, to get in the air and try and get to these areas and see what people need. Dom? Paula, let's continue on and talk, and talk as we get these new pictures in uh, every moment here on CNN from this, this monstrous typhoon here. Can you talk to me a little bit more about the infrastructure there? Can it sustain these types of winds and, probably more important, the storm surge? Some parts can. I mean, what we're talking about is two-thirds of the Philippines. This is an enormous area we're talking about because this uh, super typhoon is so large. So some areas will have proper uh, infrastructure. Uh, we know there's uh, around 600 shelters that have been opened up in about 29 different provinces. So people will have gone to those shelters. And, of course, the hope is that the shelters themselves were significant enough and the infrastructure was strong enough to withstand these significant winds. But many areas are poor in the Philippines. It's not a rich country, and many of these areas would have been... Uh, People would have been living either in shacks. We know in some areas people were still living in tents uh, in the island of, uh, of Bohol because that's where uh, there was an earthquake just recently and uh, there were hundreds, uh, tens of thousands of people that lost their homes there. So they were still in temporary housing and tents. So there is a concern that, uh, that there are those who have been very vulnerable uh, to this very heavy wind, the very heavy rain, and the hope is that they manage to evacuate in time. And, and Paula, last month the country was hit by a 7.1 magnitude earthquake that killed 222 people. Listen, we're still getting these pictures in. Paula, I want you to stand by, and I want our Chad Myers to stand by as well, because we're going to keep continue to talk over this and follow on with this breaking news. Again, these images are just coming in uh, to CNN, many of them from Super Typhoon Haiyan that is really creating havoc on the Philippines. Our severe weather expert Ch Chad Myers tracking it all for us. The newest information right after this.